you. Nice to have you here this evening. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Um, tell us how it feels to be here tonight for the premiere of this amazing new film. Well, it feels absolutely spectacular to be here. I'm so excited about it because I know how funny Billy Eichner is. I know what a great team has made this film and how exciting to see queer storytelling kind of in the mainstream. You know, in, in this way, it's, it's a rom-com that everybody can get on board with. What a lovely, lovely thing. And I think it's, um, it, yeah, I'm, I'm introducing uh, um, um, Luke and, and Billy to the stage tonight. So I'm very much, very much starstruck that I'm going to be meeting them, even for just a moment. I'm very excited to be seeing them. And does it seem crazy to think that this is actually the first, you know, big studio queer rom-com that's like, you know, hitting mainstream cinemas over the world, you know, I UK mean, and US? I can't believe that this is, you know, the first big studio rom-com to be in cinemas. I, I mean, I suppose because as a people, we're known for our storytelling. And so I guess we've been telling our own story to one another for so long. Now this feels like a way to celebrate the, you know, the, the great um, complexity of queer storytelling in the mainstream. And everybody can enjoy these, this storyline and everybody can relate to it. And I think that's the important thing to remember. And I think it's so exciting and um, a, real, a real, really important marker, actually, in our, in our cultural history. And it feels like the rom-com itself is making a bit of a comeback. I'm sure people are starting to say that, you know, the, 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 the sort of, you know, the, one, the ones we grew up watching, that sort of genre had died, but it seems to be coming back. The thing is, you know, upbeat happiness never dies, does it? People always want something aspirational, something to dream of. Everybody wants to dream about falling in love and having fun relationships and, 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 and that, that kind of... You know, that, there's a reason that rom-coms have existed for so long. They're escapists, but in a way that we all can get on board with. And um, I think this film is a classic example of that. But it's so witty and it's so sharp. And I think the performances are great. And the way it's put together, the story that it's telling, I think whilst it's about romance, it's also about how queer people are portrayed and how queer people are understood and, and how, um, yeah, you know, how, how we're... We're different, but it's a great thing, and um, I'm, it made me feel so proud uh, to, to 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 see it and to um, and to be a part of this evening. And being a comedian yourself, what what is so important about having comedy in our lives? I mean, I think for Brits particularly, it's kind of a coping mechanism, um, and, and it's a way of kind of dealing with you know the world's not looking great out there at the moment. Maybe we need it more than ever. Well, I think yeah, comedy has always thrived at times when things are difficult. I think we laugh because. I don't know, I guess it's a, it's a sort of subversive act to go, well, even if the world is terrible, which it does seem in many ways, so many horrendous things happening, then, um, you know, it's a way to go, well, you know what, we may as well laugh. And I think that's why comedy thrives in a time like this. And we are all, you know, desperate for escapism. So um, I, hope, I hope that's what's happening anyway. And, and, and I think, um, yeah, long may we continue to laugh and, uh, and realize that um, despite everything being so serious, if you can have a laugh, it's all a bit more bearable. Um, tell us about the stuff you've been working on. I mean, you've done Bake Off, you've done, you've written a book, um, and you're also going on tour, is that right? Tell um, us a bit I'm, about yourself. Yes, I'm going on tour next year. I'm so excited. The tour's been extended to go into the second half of next year, and in fact, part of the year after that, so that's thrilling. And I've got a book coming out called Too Much, which builds on my previous book about um, growing up in suburbia and feeling, I guess, queer shame uh, in suburbia, and it's called No Shame. This one's called Too Much. And that comes out on the 10th of November. And, um, and yes, and I'm very much enjoying being part of Bake Off and Extra Slice which goes out on Friday night so it's lovely to have lots of fun with Joe Brand and celebrating all the merriment of Bake Off this year so yeah it's nice to be busy and nice to be laughing. Right, well really enjoy the evening thanks for your time Thank thanks you. so much. Thank you very much.